Hey yo, welcome back to Ed Hunt. So today I'm gonna to be doing another big trading, well, big-ish, uh, taking down a load of more uh, rejected games to another CEX. So I'll show you some uh, half the pile. It's half the pile. This is some PlayStation 2 games, got some Wii games, got an Xbox One game at the bottom there as well. And then the second pile is just more PlayStation 2 games. Now, most of these were rejected because of the Elspa rating uh, on the front, which is just like an older like way of rating games in this country. There's no like significance of it being European, it's all British. And uh, some of them were a little bit scratched. So we're gonna take them there to CEX and we are going to see how much we can get for, let's see if I can get pick them all at once. Three. How much we can get for these 20 or so games. Hello. Uh, are these five for a pound or? Yeah. yeah? I'll take those five then, please. Those five as well then, please. Is it? Xbox One? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Doing that, they're paying up. Do you know if they're over a pound? 40p, I know. Yeah. I think that's a pound. I think that's like 80p. Yeah, right? yeah probably 80p. Yeah. Right, so they're like 10p. So mm. Whoa. No, yeah, exactly. No. This one's a bit bigger, but it's normally just to your right hand side. Just here. Infamous two. Two quid. Fallout New Vegas, one ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Okay. Last of us is right. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take those three. Um, how much are the ones just behind yeah, as well? Here? Yeah. Two ninety nine. They look Good like one. they're in two ninety nine. All two ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna. Have, yeah. I might. I might probably take these. To be honest. Okay. Yeah. And we're back. So, just got back from CEX, and I'm very pleased to say they, they took every single one of those games that I showed you. Well happy. Uh, I'm not going to lie, some of them were in a bit of a rough condition, but, you know, a lot of them were just uh, the Elspa rated games, and they took them. So, I'm so happy with that. And obviously, you would have seen just before, I stopped off at a charity shop and got loads of Blu-rays. And Destiny, I think it was, I paid £2 for all of them. So, it was like nine Blu-rays and one game for £2. 
and also went to another charity shop and picked up some more games, but that was after CEX. So, I'll show you the CEX receipt first. Now, as you can see, I don't know how well you can actually see that, but there's some some highlights. I've uh, got three pounds for Age of Empires, no, a 140 for Age of Empires 2, three pounds for Onimusha, um, got two pounds for Scooby-Doo Night of Fright, got six pounds for Superman, the Blu-ray that I picked up. All the Blu-rays I picked up were a bit blind. I, I wasn't sure how much it'd be worth, but I ended up making some decent money, some decent profit, even though some of them were like one piece, so it didn't really matter in the end. And yeah, in, in total, I ended up getting 33.44, I think it was something weird like that, yeah, 33.44. So, uh, I thought I did buy a game and I've been watching a lot of uh, Phoenix Reseller recently and um, even buying like does his like GameCube Gambit thing and I've been waiting to add to my GameCube collection just by from watching his videos so I got one game that I've been after for a long time uh, it's not the best price but obviously with, with uh, trading stuff like that I didn't pay as much as I said I put about 50p um, value on each of the games that I bought and obviously the Blu-rays I bought were 20p each so in total I traded in 31 items um, and 10 of those items were 20p so and then the other what 20 of them were 50p so oh, God, I'm not gonna work out the profit but there's some profit there there's some good profit there so with that profit I bought Eternal Darkness on the GameCube. Now, this is in absolutely fantastic condition. The, this is in there, the manual's there, all the inserts are there, and this is one of my absolute favorite games of all time. It's so fantastic. The story mode is brilliant. Uh, it's got really good replay value. Like the initial story is gonna take you at least like 15, 16 hours to play through. It's a very unique concept. It's a concept that Nintendo haven't actually uh, used since but they own the copyright to like the sanity meter and stuff like that. And when they do eventually do either a sequel or a remake of this, oh, I'm just gonna, I can't wait, I'm gonna do playthroughs, live streams, all of it. Like this is such, such a good game. I can't recommend this enough. If you have a GameCube or you have access to playing a GameCube or anything like that, this is one game you should definitely be adding to your collection. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, fantastic game. So. I had about a five pound voucher left over and I actually gave that to Ben. Ben was with me uh, briefly in CEX because he bought my, uh, my food by lunch for the day. So I just gave him the voucher. So we went to a charity shop after and I managed to pick up some PS4 games. Now, I did pay four pounds each for these. So that's quite a lot for me to pay for like, you know, PS4. Yeah, even PS4 games nowadays. No, I paid even less than that. But they are some quite good titles. So I'll show them to you. So I've got Monster Hunter uh, World. <clears throat> Now, I've never played any of the Monster Hunter games. I'm guessing it's like some sort of turn-based combat. Maybe it's a bit like Pokemon. Maybe it's just a more adult version of that. I don't know. Uh, I know this is quite a popular series. I know there's a lot of people that are quite into it. Um, it is, yeah, as complete as it's gonna get. And yeah, I'm probably gonna trade that in, but it only has a five pound trading. So that's only a one pound profit on that. So that's unfortunate. But then we have Dark Souls 2, uh, Scholar of the First Sin also four pounds um this is also complete and it does come with a manual uh this trades in for ten pounds so that's a much better profit that's like more than double the money there um i know my older brother uh Sads is a massive uh dark souls fan um but me not so much um so i'm probably gonna uh, end up trading this in and i know this has probably got some sort of link to the new elden ring game i think um so yeah dark souls 2 and then finally we have last of us remastered uh, also four pounds. This one trades in for six, so it's only about two pound profit on this. But altogether, it's all profit. Do you know what I mean? So it's like it's not it's not awful at all. This is the day one edition. Don't know if there's anything different between that and the normal edition. But yeah, Last of Us uh, remastered. So yeah, that's it. And uh, Ben picked up Quake Two on the N64 as well. That was actually quite nice condition. The box was nice condition, and it just didn't have like the insert bit, but it had all all the inserts and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what Ben got. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it looks like the weather's getting much better. Uh, we've got the London gaming market coming up for you and uh, boot fairs obviously as well. So yeah, lots to look forward to and lots to get excited about. So if you enjoyed that, drop a like, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.